You know what's funny? I just realized this. What's on the back of a $20 bill? Well, it's the White House. Isn't this the $20 bill that you can fold up and it looks like two 9-11 buildings um, collapsing? Well, yeah, I mean, it is. It's two... It's, it's the money that Jonathan Kleck drew. It's his patent image. He drew it. It's his idea to fold the money and show, you know, the, the building one and two falling down. But he's also letting you know that it's, it's the first 9-11 and the second 9-11. The $20 bill has the white house on the back of it. The same $20 bill that you fold up and it shows you two towers collapsing. In God we trust is what the money says on top. Who is Jonathan Kleck claiming to be? When it's not his I when he says it's not his idea as he's showing you the money and folding it and showing you the two buildings that collapse. When he tells you it's not his idea, it's his idea. When he says, like about Obama's portrait, I didn't draw it, it's just, he drew it. So in God we trust, which is him, he has all of those patent images. What is he doing besides getting you to try to worship the images? That's what his whole entire show is about. He shows you image after image after image after image. They're going to worship the images of the beast. Worship the image of the beast. Well, his image is the money. So he's controlling the money. He has all the authority in this world, like everything. He's controlling the lightning over there in Dallas. I seen that video. Like, wow, wow, Johnny. Johnny called. Johnny sent a picture from. Um, I'll, I'll have to show that clip. You know, Mr. BB, Mr. or Mr. Three. What is his name? I don't know, Mr. BB or something. He shows the skies. Well, he showed you specifically that on October 20th, there was a, there was like a, there was an image in the sky. It looked like a tornado, but it's not. He stressed it. It looks like a tornado, but it's not. As he's talking about that day. And there was a tornado that hit that Home Depot on the same day. But um, there was lightning, a lightning show over in... Um, Texas that was stressed and then some, there was a Johnny from San Antonio that sent a picture of the sun and the sun well it just looked like a ball headed a ball headed guy with uh, headphones on um, somebody named Johnny from San Antonio sent that picture the lightning show it showed rainbows of lightning it was rainbow lightning some people say they've never seen it before like that because it was lighting up it was purple it was blue it was pink it was red it green it was every color in a rainbow I remember Cleck one time he went to he had these two containers that um, that he, he he has them well I, actually I think they're still there you can find them over on Rainbow Lane it's right there where Michael Spears lives, in, I think in Texas too. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, obviously I'm not sure. Why would I say I'm pretty sure when I know I'm not? 
Uh, and it, so it's just one of the things where he had two towers and and there's two towers on the back of money. He doesn't want to take responsibility for all the patent images that he has. He'll tell you he has like over $300 million worth of you know, st stuff attached to his name. So he's not doing this for the money, obviously. Because he's like far richer than they all, apparently. But man, I mean... I guess if you have a lot of those patent images, like bumper stickers, resist, um, bugs upside down, just all kinds of things... Yeah, I mean, you get you get paid in full with that. You get paid so much that you can you can basically just draw your own artwork and have them print it on the back of currency. So when when the second 911 hits because the first one happened with building 1 and 2, which is representing the first 911 second, building 7 collapsed before they even I mean, they said it collapsed, and then it collapsed after they said it. That was Building 7, representing the seventh year. And then Building 8, well, it didn't fall yet, but that's representing going into the eighth year into perdition, which is where we're at right now. Click. Click went 50 miles one mile per day to get to the second Home Depot event, the first shooting, the second tornado. It wasn't really a tornado, but looked like one. He crossed over Corpus Christi Road. As soon as he got, well, before he got off, he was 800 feet. When you look at his images that he wants you to worship, he got off 800 feet you know, exactly before. And Suite 800 is right there at 17th, um, where 17 years Jonathan Kleck had his ministry that he can prove. This is all proof. I don't have to show this in front of you. It's proof. He, When you ask him in court, Johnny, is it true or not true that you have claimed to have doing this ministry for 17 years? It's a yes or no answer, Jonathan. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. Is your name J? Are your initials JK? Yes, it is. Who was assassinated, supposedly, back in 19... Uh, that was John Kennedy. John Kennedy. Yep, it was John Kennedy, wasn't it? Did you not drive 800 feet? Was it? Did you not get? Was it 800 feet going to Corpus Christi when you're going 50 miles an hour? Yes, it is. Okay. Definitely was Corpus Christi. Doesn't that mean the body of Christ? Yep, it does. Did you not get that stamp at um? Who sent you that that envelope? Some guy, the barn guy. Did it or did it not have a stamped envelope um, with the date of 831 on it, 2019? It did. It did. What um, what day did the Home Depot shooting take place in Texas? Oh, on, on August 31st? Okay. And how many people died? Five May 21st? I mean, five and 21 injured? That is correct, Your Honor. Okay. Um, let's see here. And how many miles per hour did you have to drive before you got off at 800 feet on Corpus Christi Drive Road? Uh, 50 miles per hour? Yeah, yes, it's 50. Uh, that is correct? Okay. 50. How many days did it take for the next Home Depot... Uh, catastrophe to happen in Texas again by the way um, it was 50 days your honor 
Oh, it was 50 days. 50 days. Interesting. And how many, um, what's the next, what is, what's going to happen again on October 30th? Do you want to tell the courts now or do you want to just let it play out beforehand? And Robin will tell you what you're going to do. You want to do that? Or do you want to, do you want to not have the, the beast rise, uh, from the pit and that second 9 11 happened? You, you want to just like tell the truth now? Or do you want to have it play out and then just say, like, you know what? Ain't nothing you can do about it, Robin. You can tell the world what I'm going to do next and I'm still going to do it and you can't prove it. Because, Johnny, guess what? You're right. I can't prove it. I cannot possibly prove with all the circumstantial evidence that I have that you're responsible, that you're the one that has the patent image on the back of the money, that it's your damn portrait of Obama because you're the one that drew the damn snake in there eating a the tongue of the uh, 144 that you're going to silence the man-child. You're going to silence, pull the tongue out, cut the cord, and crucify him. You're going to crucify him. The truth in the, in the world, you're going to crucify on YouTube. Whoever's on there that's still telling the truth, if there's that many left, if you're doing videos, um, just say goodbye. Say goodbye for three weeks. Just let the book of Daniel play out the way it's supposed to. Just be patient with everything. Let it play out. So I can't prove anything. But, boy oh boy, do I have some circumstantial evidence. It's substantial circumstances. And on your envelope, uh, Mr. John Jonathan... Uh, would you would you want me to call you Johnny or Jonathan? Johnny's fine. Okay, Johnny. You want me to call you Jonathan? Uh, fine, Johnny. Uh, on that envelope, how much was the stamp? A uh, uh, four dollars um, and thirty five cents. Right. Okay. Four dollars and thirty five cents. What? Um. And that was on August thirty first. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. And um. So. Where did you meet with Michael Spears, uh, Dave the Wave, uh, Kitty Cat, and where did you meet all of them at at the Home Depot when you were showing that stamp? I we, we met at the Home Depot. Yeah, uh, what store number was that, Johnny? It was four thirty-five. Oh, right, right. And uh, what? How about the Home Depot that took place with the um. Uh, was it, was it, uh, did, what time did you get up on Sunday morning to meet? Did, what time did you say, again, that you met, uh, you sent out those emails to everybody? You, it was 2.30 2 in the morning, a.m. Right, right, 2.30. It was 2.30, wasn't it? Two thirty. And the same day, did you, did you or did you not go to your sister's house? Uh, well, it was my brother's. Oh, uh, right, right, right. Sister, brother, Home Depot, Lowe's, Whatever. Whatever. Now, on that Sunday, which was October 20th, um, was did the, did the Dallas Cowboys t destroy the Eagles, just like your arch rival predicted very clearly? Yeah, we did. We beat those Eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, it's all scripted there, buddy. All right? It, it was a script. Um, so, that tornado, it, um, what time did you, I mean, what time did, uh, did they kick people out of there? Uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Right. And what time is it that you what mentioned in your video that you, uh, you know, you you go, you get up, you, it's like you get four hours sleep, you know, you get up at 8. What time was, did you say 8? Yeah, it was 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, you got up. So that number, uh, what store number was that Home Depot that was destroyed? Uh, it was 75. 75. 75. 75. Now, how how fast does it take for you to think when you hop out of an airplane with a parachute on? How many seconds do you have to... Uh, it's 60. Uh, right, okay. And 60, wouldn't that be 10 more than 50? Yes. Yes, it is. So, f is October 20th to October 30th, is that or is that not 
60 days from the first Home Depot shooting in Texas. Yeah, it is. It's exactly 60 days. And isn't that on, like, in the midst of the week? Uh, so what What time did you cross Corpus Christi Road, Jonathan? Um, hey, well, uh, I showed you 11, 11 p.m. And, uh, but what had happened was it was, uh, just answer the question, Johnny. I'm sorry, I'm procrastinating. At 9.03 a.m. <laughs> on a Wednesday. Right. And what time did the second uh, airplane collapse into the 9-11 building tower number two on 9-11? Uh, uh, 9.03 a.m.? Right, right, 9.03 a.m. So, Johnny, um, let's see. Uh, I mean, I can just straight give you my case, and um, <laughs> you can have all the questions I'm going to ask you, Johnny. I'll tell you the questions that I'm going to ask you, and I'll give you enough time to prepare to lie or cover it up or freaking whatever, but good luck. Uh, so, and then um, what, 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 what day did you say that, you know... The race of uh, beings like women, men, the kind of meeting together. What did you say that? What can you explain? What it was? I said eleven eleven. <laughs> Why did you say that, Johnny? Well, because um, they like the number eleven eleven. Oh, okay. How about that? That like octopentagon thing, whatever the hell it is. You have points in it. And you counted them, and how many? Uh, how many were on the outside again? <laughs> eleven. Right, and have one in the inside. Johnny, answer the question. <laughs> eleven. That's right. It's eleven, eleven, isn't it? And um, so how many days of it is in is in the book of Daniel when there's like um, you're not eating any pleasant thing? Uh, Twenty one days. Yes. So let's say so from Halloween when um, I don't know, let's just say supposedly we see like. T- a wall put up and there's like angels ascending on one side and on the other side it's like and then from that point on all hell starts breaking loose uh how many days um would 21 days line up to be uh in that next month in november 21st that's right and um did did or did dabu seven did he did he say or did he not say that there was an asteroid that was going to I mean, it's coming our way on November 21st, 2009. Did he not say that? Y- yeah, he did. And how would you know that, Johnny? Because I wrote him the script. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I mean, huh? You were, you, what? You wrote his script? I was just kidding. Okay. So, so there's an asteroid that's going to hit November 21st, huh? Do you go skydiving a lot? Yo, over 10, 20,000 jumps. Nice. You, do you notice anything up in the sky? Unusual? Like anything that's like out of place, uh, not real, um, covering our skies, anything like that? <laughs> not really. Right. Okay. So you, I can see you're going to continue to lie here. That's fine. That's fine. So you don't see like a simulating um, type of a bursting uh your bubble kind of like in the sky like a like a orange white uh floret uh halogen light bulb you don't happen to like notice anything like that looking up in the sky do you like like as you're skydiving and you're like right in front of that ball uh does it kind of look like that <laughs> i don't know i don't know what you're talking about right all right gotcha um so, building uh, the store seventy five that that took a hit exactly fifty days after um, after the the first shooting at Texas Home Depot. So, fifty days later, um, how many miles did that one video say that they were going to get? Uh, twenty five. Oh, okay. So now that's right. They said twenty five months. But they really meant days, right, Johnny? I mean, 50 miles per hour, going in 60 seconds. It takes 60 seconds to jump from an airplane. It just, it's like there's a countdown. Uh, Trump did his, uh, 
he did a speech today at Phoenix, um, Channel 10. Just get any notes. We're in that 10-day period that's going to come to the 30th, and uh, all hell is going to really start breaking loose after 60 freaking days. And then, and then, just do the countdown, Johnny. How many more days until 75? Uh, 15? <laughs> 15 more days from... From, uh, what would that be? The 30th of October? In the midst of the week? Uh, 2nd 911 Philadelphia? Anything like 17th Street? John F. Kennedy? John Cleck Boulevard? 17 years? Building 8, 800 feet to go? Aren't you into the 8th year? What, how many, what, when you had your radio station, what time did you have your radio station from? Uh, between the 7th and 8th hour? Yeah, you did, didn't you? You did, you did. So, um, Johnny, um, do you, would you like to just, you know, would you, do you need a, a minute to gather yourself here, or are you you good? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So, um, so you so the, so if you add 15 days to the 30th of October, what what day does that land on, Jonathan? November 14th. That's right. It does. And, um, so when that Building 75 Home Depot got demolished by a tornado, how many feet, how many yards, how many, how many yards was it until that other church that got, um, pretty destroyed? How many feet was that? It was 200 feet, sir. 200 feet. It was 200 feet. And... That church that did get destroyed, I forget the name of it, but that's irrelevant because it's in the video. Um, what was the address on that building? It, it was, it was a building, for, it was 1400, sir. 1400. And how fast was that tornado going, Jonathan? 140 miles per hour. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, it was me. All right. Uh, God, I can't take it anymore. Robin! That's right, Johnny. I can't forget these uh, incidences. I don't even need to save videos. It's all up in my brain. Because all you got to do is... You have to produce the videos, and I'll show the judge exactly where you're saying, what you're saying, why, when, and where, and how. Especially when I'm pinpointing it on you as to what events are going to happen, and I'm telling the world that I'm getting it from you. So I'm going to pin it on you. I'm pinning the date, the time, the location, the buildings, the addresses, Everything with that second 9-11. It's on the money. The towers are on the money. It's a white house. That's the target. The first 9-11, that airplane that crashed in Pennsylvania. Where do you think it was heading? And then a missile image hit the Pentagon. But they said it was an airplane. Whatever. Whatever you want to believe. They said airplanes hit the building. and I, Whatever you want to believe. They said people jumped. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, you know. I wasn't there, so... Forgive me if I just am a little skeptical of everything. And uh, I actually need proof, you know. When it comes to that, I need to see it with my own eyeballs. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll see exactly what I think I'm going to see. Which is signs, miracles, and wonders. Yep. So, Johnny, I just want to recap. Um, you did folder number four, correct? Yes. Okay. And how many events was it from the time of the first uh, shooting on in the you know the two temples? The, the Temple University, August 14th, 2019. Six officers got shot. One had a wounded head, of course. He did live, which is great. And uh, and then the 13 days later, it was a church fire at, um, it was at Greater Bible Way. And, um, you know, like George W. Bush, the initials. 
it was there. It burnt down. It was 52nd, like the Golan Heights recognizing how old Steve is. And Lancaster Ave, which is, you know, Amish beef. Um, that building burnt down 13 days later. And before that, those two incidences that happened back to back, the uh, Ned Peppers. Yeah, that happened on, I think it was like August 3rd, 3rd, 4th. It was the 4th because it was 10 days later as the next shooting. But that Ned Peppers, uh, the bar, that killed a bunch of people. But 13 hours before that was that shooting in... Um, Shit, I'll be damned. I just realized that. It wasn't that in, wasn't that in a, a, oh my goodness. It was at, it was in Texas and it was a, it was a Walmart. I almost forgot about that. That was on like the 3rd of August. And then you, when you backtrack a little bit more, you'll remember that there was a, like a Mississippi shooting, uh, Walmart. And that was like, um, that was, uh, so that was like the 28th, 30th. Well, it was like August 1st, I think, or something like that. I can't quite remember what that was. Maybe the second. But before that, um, right before that, on July 28th, what happened again on July 28th? It was, oh, it was the uh, Gilroy Food Festival shooting over in uh, California, San Diego, right? Is that the area right around there? Wasn't there like a shooting in San Diego, the church? Uh, what was it? What was it? Poway? And it was, uh, it was like from, it was like the fourth event. Because before that, it was like, I mean, you can just keep going back and forth all the way, all the way to the Christ Church shooting that happened on um, March 15th. Because then 30 days later, it was a, it was the, it was the fire from Notre Dame. And, you know, likewise, the fire at, at a Bible Gateway Church. And then it was like, it was a pattern of six. It was six days after that which was uh, on the 21st, and that was the bombing with ISIS over in Sri Lanka. And then it just so happened that six days after that, I remember, like, there was this person named Robin Henry Tease that predicted that on April 27th was going to be, uh, Professor Plum was going to go in to the study with a revolver, he was going to be a white supremacist, and uh, he was going to be a lone wolfman. And I'll tell you what, that not that, that, God damn, that's exactly what happened. On that Saturday, um, April 27th of 2019. And um, so, man, I mean, when you go back and you just think of these events and the Texas is, is involved and um, and then uh, 13 hours apart and then the next two events was 13 days apart and then it was three full days to the next event, which was the, it was the Home Depot reference shooting uh, in Odessa and Midland, the same place where uh, where Stephen James, where he got his uh, his well from um, King's uh, Welling Company in Midland, uh, Mi Missouri, Michigan, where he lives, and and so that shooting happened, which reminded you of you know May twenty first, right when you uh, when you took over, because that's when you got your little, that's when you got your. You know, here, Johnny, you got 42 months to go. <laughs> oh, man, they promised you the world, didn't they? So you got 42 months to reign. But, man, thank God for the elect because those days are going to be short. Because if not, I don't know if there would be any flesh left. You know, not like body, flesh, and blood. Like flesh, like the bread of life. Like this is my flesh. Here, eat, break the bread. You know, break the bread. The flesh, you're eating flesh. Thank God for that, because there would be no flesh left. Just like when there's no pleasant thing to eat. You know, you, you there's no pleasant drink. There's no fresh wine. There's no, there's no, there's no oil. Don't anoint yourself with oil, because you can't. It's the oil, the lamp, the virgins, the foolish ones. They're foolish. We're the wise ones. There's oil in our lamps all the time. But we're not going to be eating any pleasant bread for three whole weeks until three whole weeks is up because Johnny Kleck is busted. He's so busted that, you, you know, I know you think you can pay everybody off because it's all about money, but you cannot pay off God's people. And there's 144 of us coming up with a small people taking over with our words, our words. And our memory is taking over, Jonathan Click. That's what's happening. 
So, man, I mean, then you got 50 days exactly till, um, till this tornado happens in Texas again uh, at a Home Depot. Uh, building 75, which is November 14th from, you know, building 435. That stamp was 435. The Home Depot you guys met at was 435. August 31st is when you got the envelope. August 31st is when the uh, shooting happened in Odessa, Texas, uh, Home Depot reference. And so, so that's 50 days to the tornado. And now, that's because that's 50 miles per hour, driving, crossing over Corpus Christi Road. And then you got 10 days because Trump did his Phoenix rising. I mean, a... Uh, Phoenix, 10 days, I'll show the clip. And so that's 10 days from the 50th mile per hour that takes you to the 60th. And it was 60 degrees when they showed, uh, you know, the the tornado to let you know 10 days. It's gone in 60 seconds. Everything's going to be gone in 60 seconds. And then 15 days from that point on, well, it's 75. It's Highway 75. It's leading you to 75 days. What's going to happen on November 14th? I didn't quite put that together yet, but I do know 11-11 is the time where Johnny Boy thinks that his race is taken over. You know, like the woman inside of the man race, the, the hermaphrodite, the one where it's both of you in one. You don't regard women. Uh... <sighs> 21st November... From the 11th, well, that is 10 days. The show is going to happen for 10 days. It starts Halloween night. The show in the sky, the Principality Air. Halloween night. And for 10 days, man, is it going to look, look, it's going to look like it is the end of the world. And then on 11-11, well, it seems like from 11-11 to 11-14 is when the sun goes down. I'll say from 11.11 to 11.14, the sun goes down. But there's 21 days. I don't know. Maybe or, or, or the sun goes down on November 21st, the 75th day to the 78th day to the 24th. Either way, uh, we're getting close. But there's a 10-day tribulation period where Satan's going to throw us into a mental prison for 10 days to try us. You're either going to get tricked or you're going to get a treat on Halloween. And Donald Trump's going to fall from the damn sky. And as soon as he falls, the economy collapses. Air Force One, the White House gets hit. He gets hit. He disappears. He goes into the ocean for three days. Jonah freaking gets swallowed up by a 